Now, before I start actually reading the book to you, I would just like to read to you two prayers that I was given by a person who presented himself to me as Father Ignatus. These two prayers were given to me in 1985, and I'll read the first one to you. It's called, Blessed is the Name of the Lord. Blessed is the name of the Lord. Blessed is his city, and blessed those who would aspire to reach it. Come with me, and we shall walk together. Together we shall traverse desert and swamp. Together we shall arrive at sanctuary, and together shall our feet be bathed. Such is our destiny. The road is infinite, the goal always in sight. Nothing will prevent the path from taking us there. So we travel in peace, enjoying each and every moment. We bless the path and God blesses us. We bless the difficulties and we are blessed. Blessed is the name of the Lord. Now the second one is more of a poem really, describing the way that people in the spiritual world view uh, the situation with regard to us and it's called the way forward and the way back once there was a time oh so long ago that those whose minds reach back to it are scarcely here and though through devious routes and channels mankind likes to live we trust that in the long and short term he also learns to give can it be that pain and sorrow are always ever near? And can it be that happiness is often tinged with fear? All too often we find as we pass the veil that beauty, love and understanding were there. To no avail it is that we look back with sorrow. We should have learned to live our lives in God and not in mammon. Tomorrow, always sought and never to be found, was always beckoning us, and still we found that life was full of tears. We worked, we cursed, we tried, and yes, we failed to put ourselves in order that we might have rent the veil between this life and the next, between a life of happiness and a time spent perplexed and wondering still if there was any point in going on. At last one day, we found, to our dismay, that we had somehow passed beyond the veil, and still we looked with sorrow at the work that was unspent on things to do with God and not a life of discontent. Therefore, we vowed we would return to the life that we had spent on earth, and into that life we would put an everlasting supplement to others to seek God foremost and mammon not at all. Then, perhaps, we too could rest within the marbled hall of peace and tranquility. Ensure that you who read these words and find them to be true, that you put them into practice and join with us in peace and love within the marbled hall. <laughs> 